The cannabis space over the next five to seven years will be the fastest growing category of trade in the United States with more employment opportunities than any other industry, including tech. There's a huge opportunity for cannabis as a whole, whether it be THC, which is psychoactive, or CBD. A decade ago, it was very loosely regulated. At this point in time, it's, it's, it's tightly regulated on a state-by-state -state basis, and you'll start to see um, CBD growing out of dispensaries into conventional trade channels, into specialty stores, and, and in restaurants and bars. Um, and THC is in a controlled environment in dispensaries, but I believe that there will be a groundswell and you will start to see cannabis um, in most trade channels throughout America over the next you know, three or five years. There are a lot of luxury lifestyle brands and they're, they're creating products that we're accustomed to consuming. Bars, topicals, beverages, creams, um, a lot of the things that we eat, drink, and, and put on our body um, are being incorporated into the cannabis space. You're seeing a lot of American companies investing in the Canadian market. There's a lot of beverage alcohol companies that realize this is a huge opportunity um, to get into this space, and they're making significant investments. You see Constellation Brands with Canopy Growth in Canada, Southern Glaciers Wine and Spirits uh, making an announcement in Canada, and Breakthrough Beverage making an announcement in Canada. You'll, you'll start to see a lot of the major players that are comfortable with the cannabis space. We're making some big bets and it's a huge opportunity for them to grow with the industry. What's uniquely different about this opportunity in cannabis, opposed to beverage or food or beauty, is that in those specific industries, playbooks exist. There are brands that have built, scaled, and gone through successful exits or acquired others, and they have a track record of success. In cannabis, that is yet to be determined. So we have the opportunity to, to work with these cannabis companies to put out their whole organizational design hiring strategy and look at putting different pieces in place from these other categories to build best-in-class organization. The reality is that so many of the major players in cannabis come from food, beverage, consumer products, med tech, and they have experience building brands. And what you're seeing is the actual companies that have significant investment going into their operations are not only paying fair market compensation for these executives and these leaders coming in, they're actually paying higher than fair market because they understand the importance. And this is a big opportunity right now to really put a stake in the ground to establish your company with best in class talent. And that's what we're seeing happening. What excites me most is that we just happen to be in the middle of this universe and it happened around us and our customers and our community of executives and leaders that we've been putting in these companies are the ones running these companies now. And they're the ones who are coming to us and saying, this is all about human beings. This is gonna be a very crowded space. But unless I get the right people to run this organization, I won't be the leader in the pack. And we have the opportunity to help them with their vision, bring it to fruition. The unique perspective that we have is advantageous, having built so many high growth, food, beverage, beauty, personal care brands with the really impressive entrepreneurs. And you're seeing the same type of strategy being built with these cannabis companies. And we're able to take a lot of the lessons that we've learned, what's worked successfully and what has not been so successful, to help these companies design their organizations for future growth. And that's incredibly valuable.